If you're purchasing new appliances, you're probably reading online reviews, asking your friends for their advice and learning all the manufacturer specs. But you've probably seen a lot of buyer's remorse and comments from people wishing they had bought something different. Wouldn't it be great to learn all the nightmares to avoid up front so they don't happen to you? In this new series, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll show you the common and uncommon pitfalls and mistakes in every category from starting a project to delivering without the several different types of damage that can happen to your home. Counter depth built in and integrated refrigerators are some of the most popular appliances for designing better kitchens. In this video, you'll learn the difference between all three and some of the most common mistakes others experience while shopping for these refrigerators. Counter depth is better looking than a standard refrigerator because you don't see those stylish black textured sides protruding in your kitchen. Only the doors protrude, and that is an important distinction for later in this video when we talk about built-in and integrated refrigerators. However, when you buy a counter depth, you're cutting the cubic footage from 26 to 30 cubic foot of a standard depth to a 19 to 24 cubic for a shallower style. Meal prep, store food, and have a large family might not be enough. Also, think of the food shortages when everyone was stocking up during the pandemic. The most popular items Actually, the only appliances we were selling were freezers and garage fridges for extra storage. An easy way to have both capacity with the look of a counter depth is to place the refrigerator at the end, build an enclosure to cover the sides for a counter depth look if you can. Freestanding counter depth is just a less deep regular refrigerator. Almost every manufacturer markets this type, starting at $1,500 to $5,000 is by far the least expensive. Freestanding refrigerators offer a ton of different options with French doors, drawers, four doors, along with computer screens and windows. So cheaper doesn't mean less interesting. The other two types average 10 to 15,000, so you probably won't make that mistake of refusing with the other two. But integrated versus built-in is another problem because most people don't know what they're looking for until it's too late. So let me break it down for you. A built-in has the compressor on the top it's also a counter depth, meaning the door protrudes like the freestanding models. Built-ins are available in 30 and 36 inch, but also the larger sizes of 42 and 48 inch. An integrated refrigerator fits within the cabinet, so you won't be able to distinguish the refrigerator from the adjacent cabinets. Along with the standard 30 and 36 inch widths, they are also available in smaller sizes of 18 and 24 inches. So you combine two different widths for the larger size, but which style do you buy? It really depends which one is right for you. You'll be able to store more in a larger 42 and 48 inch built-in, especially the new SKS and Sub-Zero 48 inch French door models. You also have more selections in color with a thousand from Blue Star and 12 colors and six hinge combinations of a True. You can see into a built-in refrigerator with the glass doors from a True and a Sub-Zero. The integrated is more flexible. You can place the refrigerator and freezer anywhere and you have more combinations in the popular 36 inch models with French door and double drawer combinations. Both integrated and built-ins can be paneled, but the integrates will look better with panels because it is indistinguishable from your cabinets. If you want to learn more about freestanding built-in or integrated refrigerators, click one of these links, and thanks for watching.